Yeah, we'll move on to the next problem. The problem looks very simple. It may be a five marks problem if it comes in the exam. So it is given in the different format. The information given here is about the uh, annual sales projected 80,000 units, selling price 8 rupees per unit, percentage of net profit as sales is 20, then average credit period allowed to customers, average credit period allowed by suppliers, then average stock holding in terms of sales requirement allowed 20% for contingencies. So let us go one by one first. Like in the previous problems, net profit is 20% of sales they have given. Assume sales is 100% always and profit is 20% given. So if 100 is the sales, 80%, 20% is the profit, the cost will be the balance, the cost will be 80%. So here the sales volume is not given, which we have to find. So how to find the projected annual sales in units, 80,000 units into selling price rupees 8 per unit so it will give you an amount of rupees 6 lakh 40 thousand rupees as sales so sales is 6 lakh 40 thousand 20 percent of it is profit 20 percent is 1 lakh 28 thousand profit 80 percent of it will be 5 lakh 12 thousand so this is the calculation which we are supposed to be ready before working the problem there. Then we will move on to the information one by one. Average credit period allowed to customers. Allowed to customers is debtors. The money to be received from debtors. Sundry debtors at cost. We will do at cost is 5 lakh 12,000 and credit allowed to them is 10 weeks. So 10 by 52, 98,461.5 comes, but I taken as 62. Next, average credit period allowed by suppliers is 8 weeks by suppliers of raw materials, sundry creditors. So the we'll assume the entire cost is raw material cost. 5 lakh 12,000 into 8 by 52, 78,769. Then, other one is average stock holding in terms of sales requirement. Sales requirement is not raw material, sales requirement is always finished goods. So, that is connected to stock of finished goods. If you don't have finished goods, you cannot sell the goods. So finished goods at cost. So again, 5 lakh 12,000. Look at the number of weeks. Again, 10 weeks they have given the same amount, 98,462. So if you add total current assets minus current liability, 1,18,155 This is the net working capital Current assets minus current liability 20% reserve they have given in the last line Allow 20% contingencies 20% of this comes to 23,631 So if you add 1,41,786 That is working capital requirement